Hey folks, welcome to Picture This. I'm your host John Pitcher. I recently purchased this Benchmade turret. I was expecting for it to be my everyday carry knife. I was looking for a really good quality knife. I have had quite a few Kershaws. I'm not saying they're not good knives. They are, especially for the price you pay. These Benchmades are really good quality, but they are a little pricey as well. So anyway, after doing some research, I ended up buying this turret. It is a what they call black class knife. It's a line of knives that they have that's meant for uh, military, law enforcement, EMTs, that type of uh, career. So anyway, I ended up buying this. The reason I went with this blade is I wanted something a little bigger than the Kershaw I was used to carrying. And I wanted a serrated edge as well. Um, I have had instances in the past where I needed to cut someone out of a vehicle, cut their seatbelt. Uh, I've done, yeah, some cut a dog that was tangled up in some rope and I uh, actually saved a loon one time that was tangled up in someone's uh, rogue decoys that they, they didn't collect after hunting. So the loon had gotten caught up some line. So anyway, it's always good to carry a knife. I don't need to explain to you why you need to carry a knife, but there's always a reason to have a good knife on hand. So anyway, all that to be said is I bought this turret and... I found it to be a little too big, actually. So when I take it out of my pocket, my fingers don't quite land on that uh, lock right there. Uh, I find it in my pocket, it's quite good, and it's not too, too heavy. Some people find it heavy. I'll get into that in a little bit. So anyway, during that whole process of getting this knife and uh, trying it out, my son has taken a liking to it, and uh, he's going away uh, to school in a little while and he was asking if I could uh, <laughs> if I could give him that knife so anyway that's what my plan is so I ended up ordering another knife slightly smaller but still a black class knife and it's the mini Adamas so he doesn't know it yet but my son's gonna get that knife so I haven't opened this mini Adamas yet at all let's try it and see how it compares to this turret I obviously went by the the specs and it should be a little smaller and a little lighter and we'll we'll compare that afterwards let's change the uh, lens in the camera here there we go it is Quite a bit smaller actually. Still smooth opening. I did see <laughs> doing my research I saw somebody complaining about the the blade not opening smooth enough and they started dismantling the knife to lubricate the the pivot as soon as they got the knife. If you're in that boat, I will tell you that this one came and it wouldn't open really smoothly, but it only took maybe five minutes of opening the blade and loosen it right up. So yeah, you can see it's pretty much the same color. I think it's olive drab, the turret is listed at, G10 handles. Of course the difference is the turret is uh, S30, S30V steel probably see that there and the mini Adamas is is crew wear CPM crew wear so it's a different type of steel I'm not familiar with that at all I have had knives and tools with S30V before but not with the crew wear that's relatively new Let's see it doesn't quite open as smooth as the turret Albeit it's, it's not as heavy either. So it is quite a bit smaller. Let's have a look uh, closely and see the difference between the two. So blade wise, if you match it up, now I think the blade on the Adamas is listed at yeah, three and a quarter inches, and the turret is listed at 3.7 inches, so obviously you can see it 
Uh, it's not just blade length either, it's the kind of the girth. The blade on the turret is obviously obviously thicker here. And the handle is, is a little bit bigger. Well, it's, actually, it still fits in the hand nicely. It is a nice size. I like it. It's probably going to be easier to carry in my, in my pocket as well. Sharp as you'd expect. All right, let's just quickly try the weight of these knives. I'll just move them out of the way, get the scale here. So the Mini Adamas is listed at 4.6 ounces. Let's see how close we are to that. That's pretty darn close, 4.6. You can't ask for any better than that. And the uh, the turret is listed at 5.81 ounces. And right on the nose, 5.8. So it is a little heavier. They, uh, other than the fact that the turret doesn't quite sit in my hand when I take it out of my pocket quickly. Uh, it's a really good carry knife. I don't find it too heavy to carry, uh, but I suspect that this one will be a little easier to carry, and I'm sure my our young fellow will be appreciative of the the turret that he'll end up with. So, anyway, folks, that is. Um, the difference between the turret and the Mini Adamas. I didn't find any videos directly relating the two online. Uh, and you're probably saying to yourself, well, John, uh, this was not serrated edge, and it, it, uh, it doesn't come in a serrated edge. Not for me to know, anyway. I didn't find one, so if it did, I couldn't find it. So and that's it, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.